Today on my broke ass kitchen, Beyond Meat, Beyond Burger, 20 grams of plant based protein per patty, no soy, no glutton, non GMO, only 8 minutes to cook. Plant based protein, it's all the rave, and that's what we're cooking today on my broke ass kitchen. Hello, and welcome back to My Broke Ass Kitchen Quarantine Edition. I'm your host, Sam Green. I love meat. Fish, lamb, pork, beef, it don't matter. I don't discriminate. If you know how to cook it properly and deliciously, I'll stick it in my mouth hole. Now we've all heard of Impossible Burger, and we've all heard of the famous Impossible Whopper from Burger King. Well, the other day, I was walking through Walmart, and I came across a plant-based protein called Beyond Meat. They had Beyond Sausage and Beyond Burgers. This is going to be part one of a two-part series where we explore both of them. Today, we're going to start with Beyond Burger. I'm going to cook it one of two ways for you guys. I'm going to cook it just by itself and try it. I might try it raw. I'm not sure. They expired two days ago. And then I'm also going to cook it as a burger with all the fixings. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. So what you'll need for today's broke ass recipe, you're going to need your Beyond Meat. We're going to top that bad boy off with some blue cheese crumbles, stick it on a hard roll, top it with some spinach, a red onion, tomato, and some blue cheese dressing. Then we're going to pair this bad boy up with a classic Caesar salad. Any salad can be a Caesar salad if you just stab it enough. Upon first inspection, they smell like cat food. I am not going to try this raw. I have to. Here's a little tiny bit. Um, Ah, I don't know about this one, folks. Ah, okay. Well, folks, you're about to see a fucking miracle happen right before your eyes. I'm going to try to make this shit delicious. All right, we're going to start with a hot frying pan and a little bit of olive oil. I'll let that olive oil heat up a bit. All right. Once your olive oil gets a little heated up, I'm going to take these delicious... I don't like the way they smell, but we're going to give it a shot. We'll see. I froze them before they expired, so they should be okay, but I don't know. I'm going to do just a little bit of salt and pepper on them. Because I have a feeling they're going to be really bland. Oop. We have water, pea protein isolate, expeller pressed canola oil, refined coconut oil, rice protein, natural flavors, cocoa butter, mung bean, protein, methyl cellulose, protein starch, apple extract, salt, potassium chloride, vinegar, lemon juice concentrate, sunflower lechin, pomegranate fruit, powder, and beet juice extract for color. Peas are legumes. People with severe allergies to legumes like peanuts should quite cautious when introducing pea protein into their diet because of the possible ability. I can, I can, I can read, guys. Uh, contains no peanuts or tree nuts. I don't know, guys. It's gluten free. I looked up online. It said not to try them raw, uh, and it can give you an upset stomach. So I figured I had to try it raw anyway. Yeah, just whatever. And we're just gonna let them fry up a bit. smells like a real burger it's uh or i don't know if it just it's the char i'm not sure a normal burger i will not flip more than four times proper burger you shouldn't even flip more than twice um 
But hey, whatever. I don't know about these burgers, so I'm just trying to play it safe. This one's going to be the control. This one's going to be the one I eat. Well, I'm going to eat them both, but this is going to be the one that gets all the fixings. So we're going to put a little bit of blue cheese right on top of it. Oops. Yeah. I'm just going to let that melt down a little bit. I don't think this Aldi's cheese is going to melt. So, all that's left to do is try this bad boy out. Plate it up. It did smoke up my entire house. So first, we're going to try the burger just by itself. Here's the patty here. It's It feels like a cold piece of ground beef. It's very spongy. Oh, it still smells like shit, though. Let's break her open. It says it might still be pink on the inside. Oh. Hmm. That is alarming. The smell on this it smells very sour. I really hope they weren't expired before I cooked them. Just very weird, stringy meat. Let's see. Hmm. All right. Whatever. This is our control. It's time to try it. Wow. I am pleasantly surprised it tastes like a well done burger certainly don't smell like it um, I don't know not my cup of tea definitely not my cup of tea I, I just something off about it I it doesn't taste like the impossible burger that's for sure the impossible burger you couldn't even tell that was ground beef or you couldn't even tell you couldn't even tell the impossible burger wasn't meat um, that I don't know man oh oh lord hi all right let's try the finished product I guess I'm not feeling too confident about this broke ass recipe <laughs> now to plate this baby up we're gonna start with our hard roll here I'm gonna put our patty right on like so Boop. What I'm going to do, I'm going to put a little blue cheese dressing for a little bit of like a glue. We're going to start with our spinach. Yes. My Kulo is going to love me tonight with all this plant protein here. A little tomato. And some onion. Ooh boy. Yeah. Fuck it. We're going to go with a lot of onion just because I'm going to drown out the flavor of this because I have a feeling I'm not going to like it. A little more dressing. Put our roll right on top. Boom. Cheer, son. Cheer. Well, here it is, the finished product. We have the hard roll, I have the spinach, I have the patty, I have some tomato, the blue cheese, the blue cheese crumbles. All right. I mean, all together, not bad. Um, I don't ever send food back at a restaurant, but um, if I ordered this at a restaurant and I got it, I would totally be sending this back. Um, just not my cup of tea. I'm going to have to say I'm going to save Beyond Meat for the vegans. Um, there's just something 
not right about it. I don't know if it's the peas or whatever, but it just has a really chemically sour bite. I don't know. I always got to take two bites just to make sure. But uh, oh, I don't know about this one, guys. Even even above all the toppings, it still smells chemically. I wish I had. A, I could like have an orgasmic good food description for you of this. Um, it's terrible. I feel like I could make this better. Um, maybe that'll be a future episode. I don't know. Yeah, folks, um, the Beyond Meat from Walmart, I'm going to have to say, is a no for me. One out of ten. I'm going to give it like a three, <laughs> maybe four, if I'm feeling generous. Um, yeah, just, no. It's a no for me, dog. I'm sorry. You vegans, you could have this. I'm going to stick to my ground beef. Um, yeah. Shit. This is what I, uh, yeah. Oh, gross. Oh. Beyond Meat Burgers, this is what I'm going to have to say about you. Ugh. Now, they say if your dog won't eat it, you probably shouldn't. Don't mind that piece of paper on my floor. Well, we got the dog test. Well, there you have it, folks. Beyond Meat, Beyond Burger. I'm not even going to insult dog food. That is straight up garbage. My dog wouldn't even eat it. I can't even call it dog food. If it's the greatest thing you've ever had in your entire life and you love it, I apologize. This is just my opinion. Um opinions are like assholes everyone has one um i've had the impossible whopper and i've had the impossible burger the impossible burger i didn't even i i could barely tell it was fake um that whatever beyond meat i'm sorry guys even meteor it's gross just disgusting and i'm even more pissed that now i have to cook something else that way i have dinner tonight um but that's the way cooking goes it's all experimental you get some winners, you get some losers, you get some, you know, today I got a loser. That's it. Um, next episode, we're going to be doing the Beyond Sausage, which is a plant-based sausage from the same company, Beyond Meat. Um, we're going to be doing a control, a plain one, and then I'll be doing sausage, pepper, and onions with the other one. Uh, maybe over a little pasta, maybe on some of them hard rolls, I, I really don't know. But until then... That's it for this episode of Broke Ass Kitchen. If you like what you saw, give me a big ol' like and thumbs up. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, drop them down in my comments. Um, if you like what you saw today, please subscribe. And if you hit subscribe, hit the notification thing and you'll be alerted every time my dumb broke ass decides to cook delicious meals for you. Well, 99.9% .9 of the time they're going to be delicious meals for you. And be sure to check out my other channel, my adventure channel, the Sam Green XP. That's my channel where I do all sorts of hiking and adventures and blah, blah, blah. And I know some of you are probably coming over to this channel from that channel. Um, I want to keep the two separate. This is food related. That's adventure and life related. Uh, if that clears up any confusion as to why I moved Broke Ass Kitchen to its own channel. Thank you all for watching. You're all wonderful. Stay safe. Stay well. Stay great, stay cooking, most importantly, stay sexy. You all have a wonderful night. Thank you again for watching. I'll see you next time on My Broke Ass Kitchen.